you guys hope you're doing amazing it's fourth of july so you might hear and see some fireworks behind me making this video to teach you what i've learned in the past week and that is becoming great and doing big things in this world and becoming known for something if you're watching this video i hope that you want to do something large something enormous have a big impact like me, I want to inspire billions, I want to become a billionaire, I want to have an amazing lifestyle to be able to provide for myself, my family, and impact others. If that's not something that you're looking to do to go big, probably this channel isn't right for you and this video isn't right for you either. But what I've been learning this past week is that we all have a journey in life. Some people say it's the destination, some people say it's the journey. I believe you need the destination in order to have the journey and you need goals in life to be able to look for and strive for things. And with those goals may come, I wanna buy a jet, I wanna have a certain lifestyle, and this is where I'm getting into. Every person that's great and that has impacted the world in major ways, sorry, that almost went out, was known for something. Elon Musk, Tesla, Rockets, Space, Jeff Bezos, Amazon, uh, Steve Jobs, iPhones, my father, he's amazing at construction. Probably one of the most intelligent people I know in construction. He can estimate a job that might take people a week or two and probably an hour. So in saying this, we all have a journey. We all go through life. We all go through school, courses. And I believe in your teens and your 20s is the time for you to experiment, for you to see what you like doing versus what you don't like doing, what you're really good at versus what you're not so good at. And then hone in on that one thing, that one thing that makes you different to the point where you become known for that. Don Monaco, known for construction. I'm currently finding out what I'm best at, what I like, and I'm honing in on that so I become that person. The person who is amazing at YouTube to the point where he's building a billion dollar empire, Mr. Beast, you know him for YouTube. So go about life, figure out what you're really good at and what you could hone in on and become the best at that to the point where people only think of you, your company that you work for or the, or the company that you started or what you actually do. They only think about you and you're the best that there is to the point where you walk in a room and you're known as an expert. So when you speak, people actually listen. They stop and they listen. Give me a sec because I got to relight this. 20 minutes later. That's a bit better. So figure out what you're amazing at. Currently, I'll share a mistake that I made so that you don't have to go through that. And that is doing 50 things, many things all at once. I started up a company when I was really, really young. It's called Order Now. It's now turned into Gopher. Then I started Perspective, which was clothing. Then I started Perspective Productions. Then I started a real estate thing. I just did so many things that it got overboard and I really couldn't handle it. And I wasn't really making any money with them. And the whole point was to make money. That's what I started them for. Now, I realized with the clothing, I made a big mistake with that. Clothing is a very saturated industry. Along with that, you need a purpose, you need a mission, you need a why behind that to actually be prosperous and successful in that. I started out and I basically said to friends and family, hey, I got clothing, why don't you guys come and buy the shit? There was no reason to do it other than for me to make money. Now that has absolutely changed. Now I'm doing the clothing because people love it and I feel it also inspires people and when they wear it, it just makes everyone happy inside. <sighs> With Perspective Productions, I did that because I'm making videos for Team Red Rock. I'm also looking to take on more people. Point really isn't to, although it is to make money, it's to help others in this world become better known with their brands and their companies and their personal to the point where they break through the noise. Currently helping my aunt with her amazing company, Aria, Aria, Aria Aesthetics Skincare. Make a website, landing page, create social media posts, basically help people break through the noise. That's why I'm doing it. I have a purpose, I have a mission behind it. Gopher, we wanna be the most accessible material, material delivery service. There's a purpose and there's a mission behind it. And there's a why. There's a why and there's a really big need for that. Figure out where there's a humongous need the bigger they need, the bigger value you can provide to people, the better. So, in saying that, don't start 10,000 things. Keep the main thing the main thing. Simple as that. Keep the main thing the main thing. 
hone in on your craft to the point where you're an expert. To the point where you walk in the room, that you're such an expert, such an expert, you walk into the room and people stop and they listen. And they know you for that one specific thing. Now it's gonna take time, it's gonna take years, obviously you're gonna need a lot of experience to do to have that expert title. But once you have that expert title, people will listen to you. And then you gain respect and you start to create an empire for yourself. And one of the biggest things I'd say also is to surround yourself with like-minded people that have the same goals as you and ambitions and that actually push you. They give energy to you. They don't take energy away from you. You gotta surround yourself with winners. What well, might sound kind of douchey to say, only you got really only gotta surround yourself with winners. You could have friends that have different ambitions and different goals, but the majority of your friends, if you want to achieve big things and you want to have a large impact on the world, you gotta achieve your. You gotta surround yourself with people that are like-minded and that are killers, really, and that want to dominate. And you, and you gotta learn. Sign up for courses. That's what I'm doing. Sign up for courses. Network. Meet people. When you meet people, ask them questions specific intentional questions figure out why you want to know go into each and every single interaction knowing the people who you want in your life and what you want to learn from these other people people who i've been learning this more and more people who are very very high value high status that have done major things and that are doing still major things they have a limited amount of time and their time is very very precious so don't bother them Ask them questions, be quick, be to the point. People don't want to play around, really. And once you respect their time and they see that, they'll respect you in turn more and more. I'm telling you, the older someone gets, the more experience that they have, but also they want to share stuff with you. They want to share. So be the person who wants to hear, not talk. Be the person who has the open ear. God gave you two ears and one mouth, so shut the, shut up. Ask and receive and give. Give as much value to others as possible. In the beginning, you gotta give, whether that's time, money, attention, value, anything. You gotta give to the point where people actually wanna give back to you without you even asking. And that might mean in the beginning, you're not receiving anything, you're doing stuff for free, you're making landing pages, you're making videos for people, you being someone's sidekick assistant going around with them driving them you're gonna have to struggle and it's gonna be a bitch at first but the more and more you do it you're gonna start being more and more creative and have the mindset of not i can't afford this or i don't have enough time but how can i make more time how can i afford this in that sense your brain is actually going to start being more creative and think of ways that will actually create more time more money more energy for yourself and most of all that must have looked freaking sick and most of all be appreciative of everything you have no matter how low you are at this point be grateful and be thankful for where you are the family and friends that you have at the moment take a moment pause all the music stop all the talking stop watching movies read a book, get out of nature, and just be silent. Hear the thoughts that go in your, in your mind, in your brain. Meditate, pray, or just walk in nature, run in nature. You're going to start knowing, you're going to start feeling more connected. When you're feeling more connected, that's when things come to you. So, with that, guys, I leave you. Happy 4th of July. Hope that helped. Find what you're good at. Find what you love, figure out the finances to make that lifestyle happen, and go all in with experience. Ask people questions, don't talk. Give and ask intentional questions. Become a master at your industry, become a master at what you're known for to the point where you walk into rooms, people shut up and they listen to you speak. As always guys, be great and be different because only you decide what your perspective is. Ciao.